Hello everybody. Welcome to Miss Enjoy Spiritual Advice Channel and I am Miss Enjoy. I am here today to do your April 8th through 15th Love and Soul Connection reading for my Tauruses. Hello wonderful, wonderful, wonderful gods and goddesses of earth. How are you my Tauruses? Alright, I read for love and soul connection as I start. We've got the Six of Pentacles that just jump right out. Now, I pre-shuffle, so, but I do like to shuffle on camera so everybody can see. But I like to take the, the first jumper I get is the overall energy of the relationship. So, we've got the Six of Pentacles that popped out there. They jumped out there. All right. Okay, now, as I was saying, I read for love and soul connections. If you are single, this is not the reading for you. There are lots of wonderful readers out there who read for singles. Lots and lots and lots. Um, but this is for you, even though if you may be in a time of separation with your soulmate or your partner, but you know that that's your love, your soulmate, you have claimed each other, that's your boo, your boo thing, your husband, your wifey, then this is for you. All of my readings are gender fluid. You may be, there are wonderful, lots of wonderful same-sex couples out there. You may be a female with masculine energy or a male with feminine energy. This would apply to you as well. You know who you are. You know who you be. Um, I do not read reversals here. I use many decks to clarify during readings. I also do not tell you who you are dealing with. I will not say you were dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, a Pisces, or Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn because that may confuse you. A lot of people do not even know their own planetary placements, much less that of those of their partner. So you may have a sun, moon, rising, or your partner may have sun, moon, rising, or Venus planetary placement that you may not know about and you may only know their sun sign and if I say something you don't know it may confuse you and drive you away from a message that may very well be meant for you that being said that if this message is not meant for you i do not resonate with you you don't know who i'm talking to then turn away immediately because it will throw off your energy and have you thinking crazy stuff and we don't want that and there are lots of wonderful readers and light workers up here go out there find one i turn to them in my time of need as well so please feel free to do so my feelings won't be hurt at all because this message here is for somebody can't be for everybody but it is for somebody okay I also do not give an outcome because this is love and never ever ever in a case of love do I tell anyone what to or to not do that is for you to decide only when you are ready only you cannot tell somebody who's in love with somebody what not to do who not to see you need to leave that is not for me to decide that is for you to decide I'm just here to advise and clarify and maybe bring to light some things you may not know are going on or give you some advice to help you get through what's going on okay okay I do private readings if you like the way I read or you want to go a little more in depth. And um, all that information is in the channel description as well as in the description of, in each video, of each video. So look down there for that. I try to remember to tell you what decks I'm using as I use them. Although this one just, just really did not have a name. And I won't be using it much longer. Although I love this deck. It's my favorite one. Okay, and we've got the full card. Now, the first row is going to be the overall energy of the relationship, energy and situation of the relationship. Second row will be the masculine energy and situation and where their headspace is. And the third row will be the feminine energy and where their headspace is and the situation, how they're feeling about things. Okay? All right. All right. We've got strength card masculines. That's looking great. That's looking wonderful. Thank you, Spirit. We've got the Hierophant and the Hermit. All right, that's a great sign. That's a great sign. Cross Rogers, you're welcome here as well. And these energies may, you know, be interchangeable. This may be about you. You know who you are and when your story, you know. I don't have to go into all that. When we've got, well, we've got four that came out for the, oh. And I'm going to take those. Okay, let me do some clarification and listen to spirit for a few minutes here. I decided that I was going to like lay my cards out and then talk because if I do both at the same time, it runs long. I'm a talker. Hmm. Hmm. 
was the grass green, buddy. That's a lot. But I did have the hermit fall out again there. My fems are stressing. I've, that's been so far. I'm noticing that my, my fems seem to be under a lot of stress. Okay. All, all right. <laughs> I see already. Yep, and I'm going to take all those because they apply. I already know what this is. I like this week, though. I like what I'm I'm seeing this week. I just need my messages. <clears throat> and now sometimes when I sat here and said I don't tell anybody what they who they're dealing with, Sometimes when I do more than, you know, after I've done a few readings, like some of them will connect and I want to say, you you know, I, I think you might be because that reading spoke to, <laughs> okay. Oh. 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 Okay, okay. I don't even think I'm going to need a third clarifying deck for this. Okay, I'll take you. Okay. And I'll take you. Okay. Okay, come on, fam. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clarify those. I'm gonna have to clarify. I'm gonna have to get another deck, my third deck. And so this is the Witch's Tarot by Elaine du Ellen Dugan, and the Ten of Swords. <laughs> oh shit! I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Card and justice. I want Wow. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. All right, I got it. <sighs> okay, and, and, and I'm off.
Okay. All right. This is this is just speaking Okay. All, all right. This is what I'm getting. All right. This is up here. Let's see. I'm going to try to run through and explain what I've got here really quickly. We've got the Page of Cups and the Three of Wands. And that's what he's been in the past, but he's leaving that behind him. Okay. One more. I wanted to clarify that. One more. Hold on. That was quick. Oh. Okay. Came the King of Cups. Okay. Uh, all right. Basically. Design Sam. Oh, and he's trying to be strong. But he's just still not even quite happy with himself. Okay, Divine uh, oh, Feminine, lay off. Okay? He's he's not doing he's he's not that anymore, okay? He's not the page of cups anymore. All right, and some things you need to start over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. This says that you're dealing you 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 have you're dealing with an emperor. He's your emperor. This is your emperor. Okay, this is your baby. This is your man. And and the past is behind. You know, and you keep looking for the truth. You keep looking for the truth. You keep you keep looking for the truth. And you know what? That this this behavior is toxic. Okay? You've got the ace, you've got the devil card followed by the ace of swords and the ace of swords and the ace of wands and then the two of wands. Okay, can we leave this behind us now? Because masculine, although, what, this is what happened. You, was, you, you started out with the, with the page of cups, as the page of cups, and he really wanted to leave that behind him, okay? He wanted the happiness and the nine of pentacles here, because with this sexy lady to you that came into his life, bringing abundance and lessons to learn, and he saw that. He saw that 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 ten of cups with you, and offered you that love. He saw that happy future, that rainbow. The children are playing. There's a there's a home back there, you know. It, that's a happy land. He wanted to go to happy land with you, and he saw that. Okay, and yes. He, he came in there brand new, and then it was a fight and a struggle. He was defensive. He wanted to walk away at times. He didn't know how. Basically, what this this is saying to me, in this situation, this is saying to me that there's an intimate, there was an intimacy issue. That's where your, a lot of your struggle has been. And yes, he was juggling several situations still. He came from being Mr. Page of Cubs, giving that love and out to everybody. And wanted to change and leave that behind him so that he could have this Ten of Cups with you and that abundance that you were bringing in. 
And, you know, but it's been a struggle. It's been a fight. There's times he wanted to walk away. He has intimacy issues, trouble with those cups. That's what I'm getting from this. Not really that. And yes, there were some times he wanted to walk away. You know, but he, because he was juggling the situation. And yes, he was being, but he was, at the end of the day, it, it was there. You know, he was the king of cups. And a lot of women saw him that way. And a lot of people say, you know, so it was, it's hard to move on from that. It's hard to move on from that. But he's doing that. Okay, with the strength card here, all right, so you tame that, you tame that situation, you tame the lion, and there's been a fight, you know, it was rough, it was rough, he may have even, there may have even been some, there's a lot of arguing maybe, a lot of a harsh exchange going on, a lot of arguing about that, the king of swords can be really rough with his tongue, so that had to be tamed. That had to be locked down. That had to be changed. He had to get a grip on that shit. And you had to make him get a grip on it. Okay? Because next up, we have the Hierophant. And the Lover's card. Okay? This is the Divine Connection with your King of Cups. And he's the Knight of Cups as well. You know? That's change. That's change going on there. And this is this is the divinely guided connection. And he needed guidance. He needed guidance. And you know, like I said before, they claim don't raise a man, but there's some issues that if mama didn't teach him in the first place, you don't want to deny your soulmate just because they had these intimacy issues, which is are pre is present up here. You know what I'm saying? Because now he he had to do some self-reflection. You know, had to take a little time off to get his, his finances right. Because you're his queen of wands. That nurturing, loving, offering, giving. Because you were also the hierophant back here. You know, his true love. He knew he learned that he had to listen to you. That he had to follow you and believe in you. Okay? He had to go in to the hermit mode and do spiritual work and financial work to get it right because you know you're his world you got the world card here and then the six of wands he's being successful and then we got strength again this is a victorious card the six of wands this is victory this is victory he's riding in and one of my other decks you you can just see the wands sticking up in the back with the symbols of peace on them the flowers to me these white flowers mean peace and on one of my other decks you can see the people in the back celebrating his approach as he ride by like you know this is a a a, a parade of sorts of welcoming home from the battle you've done well this is a night it's coming from battle on this and he's doing well those are white flowers up there. there's a reef up there all right and he's become strong and you did that you see that? She tamed that. And it's infinite. You see the infinite sign? You gave him infinite strength. You are his world. You gave him infinite strength here. And he still, part of him doesn't feel like it's quite good enough. He wants to offer you more. He wants more to offer you. Okay? Because he, he sees you with the Nine of Pentacles. You see that she's got, he knows what kind of woman. This speaks to a certain class of woman, this Nine of Pentacles, okay? She's got a, a falcon on her on her hand. Those birds do not come cheap, okay? There's a pet of privilege. There's a luscious garden behind her. She is well-dressed. There's beautiful property, okay? So he knows what he wants. He's done the work. He's changed. Now you have to realize that he is your emperor. Leave, leave the past behind you. Leave that wand behind you. Stop looking back with the two of wands. Take your familiar little kitty here looking out at the world. Take, you got the world in the palm of your hands, okay? Move forward. Leave that behind. Get out of this toxic habit. I know it's hard. I know it's hard when they came from that player place and they changed and baby, I'm different. And it took a while. They backslide. They backslide. But stop looking for that ace of swords. You know, stop. Let, let your guard down. It's time. All right. And once again, get out of this toxic habit of cutting him down. All right. Don't don't cut him down. Stop. Stop.
That's toxic. That's what the devil card is. All right? Get out of that mindset. It's over. Okay? You won. It's over. All right? It's going to take... I know it's a lot to deal with. I know it's a lot to deal with. It's been a burden. It's been a burden. I'm dealing with that page of wands. I know that's how you feel about him still. But you need to go inside and reflect. All right? Because this is your soulmate. This is your, this is your two of cups. Do you see that? Okay? And then here, you know, because he looks at you the same up here, you know, with the queen. I don't, where was she? She's in here, right? With the queen of wands up here. And then you have it here as well. Judgment, and it's, it's keeping you up at, and it's been keeping you up at night. And you feel like there's still a third party situation. It's worrying you. And that he's been a knight of cups. And, you know, there's incoming always all kinds of messages coming in and you just want justice you just want to know the truth but you have to be strong you have to be strong lord because there's the ten of swords and you want you're in defense you're in defense you are in defense mode okay and there's the ten of swords And the strength card, you have to be strong. And I know that there's still, you're still hearing things. And, you, you know, people are still saying that he's just a knight of cups. He's just a knight of cups. And he's doing this and then he's doing that. And so you're up at night and he's worried and you're worried about it. But judgment is going to come, okay? Judgment is going to come. The truth is coming to the light. So what I need you to do is stop worrying, okay? And I need you to stop worrying him. Because I see here that maybe even if he's not maybe even if he's not being absolutely perfect, which no one can be absolutely perfect, okay? You have to let the past be the past. And yes, this is a soulmate connection. And I guess you need to just make a decision. You know, and, but what I'm getting from this is really that you need to, you need to relax. Justice is coming, no matter, for whatever situation. And you know what? This is telling me that this is outside interference. You got people coming in from the outside, trying to cut your, cut, trying to cut you down, but you need to be strong, okay? You need to be strong. Justice is coming for those people that did this. Justice is coming for those people, all right? And that's why I'm getting a very gossipy, you know, messy, as, as, as people like to say. A very gossipy, hateful haters. Yes, hating ass, exactly. Hating ass people. But, and, but you need to stop worrying about it, okay? Alright? It's keeping you up at night because you're so worried about what other people say and what other people are doing and what other people are thinking, okay? But let's just remember... That you're fruitful. You're the queen of wands. And the judgment is going to come. Okay. And put a put an end to all this. Judgment is coming to put an end to all this. So I try to stay strong. Because I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing an ending. I'm seeing that yes. Is, this is probably going to continue. For a while. I'm seeing that. You know, people don't stop trying to attack what's good, unfortunately. But justice is coming for everybody involved who's tried to come in between. I want to pull one more card, and I want to go back to this deck because I about exhausted that last one. And the last one I used was uh, Rider Waite Smith Centennial, and you flipped around. So I'm going to pull, once again, the Queen of Cups. You're loving, you're giving, you're caring, you're nurturing. So we've got um we've got a pair here on the board. We've got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups here. Right? And you need to cut off. And then you've got the Seven of Swords. Again, 
it, it's it's too much. You you feel like it's too much to handle, too much to deal with. Sometimes you really just want to cut the situation off. But once again, the nine of cups. You have so much love for this person. You have so much love. You have so much emotion. You love. You know this is your masculine. You know this is your person. All right. Okay. And then we got the high priest here. So that tells me, to me, I feel like you need to have some faith. Seek some guidance. Seek some guidance. And I'm going to get one, 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 one more. And then I'm going to pull. And then we got a seven of wands. So you're, you're feeling defensive. There go my cats trying to cry. Take you because you're sticking out. All right. And the Empress. Okay. You got this. You're in your power. You can make this whatever you want to make it. You got this. Okay. Empress. Let me pull. But you have to let go of before. Because a lot of times you manifest these situations. You know, if you 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 leave, if you think it will be, it will be. And yes, he hasn't been perfect in the past, but at this point, he's doing everything he wants to do. He knows who his feminine is. He knows what you are to him in his life. You have changed him. He for the better. He has changed the better for the better for you. It took him a while. It was a battle, but you tamed the lion. You tamed that lion, okay? You tamed that lion. So you need to get out of that toxic energy. I know you're hurt. I know it's been a long battle. And, and I mean, I, like I said, I'm not here. I'm just here to do advice. I'm not here to tell anybody what to do. But I always root for the side of love. Especially when we have the the the, the two of cups here. When I get those those soulmate cards that come out. When I when I get a set of you here, when I have the Emperor and the Empress both here. Okay? When I have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups both here. When everybody's here. You know? That's what this says to me. This is meant to be. And all this extra outside stuff. You know what this is? This shit is temporary. All this. All this heartache. And, and sleepless nights. And people telling you this. And telling you that. And that he ain't this. And he ain't that. That's temporary. Alright. So I've got the Journey of Love Oracle deck here. I'm going to pull a card for the masculine. And a card for the feminine. And a card for the overall of the relationship. Alright. For the masculine here. We have. Shakti. Huh, exactly. Okay, all right. I read fast. Follow me. <laughs> Shakti is divine feminine fire. She is the body awakened with light. She is divine. I know this may be strange because I, I said this is the masculine energy, but listen to where it's going. Um, 
She's divine feminine and she is the Kundalini, the enlightenment of our body. With our Kundalini coming alive within us, we cannot remain as we once were. It is simply impossible, okay? That's why masculine has transformed, all right? Feminine, let it go. He is not who he used to be, all right? Um, it is impossible. We may try to lead the same lives be the same in our relationship patterns and perhaps even behave properly but it is simply but it simply cannot be done soon our disguise slipped and people wonder what happened to her or what happened to him we are on fire with the divine and we can't help but misbehave we are no longer satisfied with trying to be the good child or fearing that we are the bad child we know ourselves instead to be the divine child that child lives fully with passionate fire, not doing things the way they are supposed to be done, perhaps, but living instead from the heart. Our body may ache as we burn through old pain, and sometimes the light within may seem so bright it blinds us for the moment, but it will pass, and the misbehaving will suddenly be seen for what it is. The old rules just don't fit and apply to any, apply anymore. You don't plug a globe capable of illuminating the whole world into the bedside reading lamp without burning down the house okay best let that light shine as it was meant to in the big arena shakti is making your light glow beloved be prepared to shine brighter the oracle brings you a message you are going through energetic shifts in, in your subtle anatomy because your energy body and physical body have already become to merge with each other all right the energetic shifts will will affect your physical body too it will always it is always wise to consult a healthcare practitioner, but at least some of your physical challenges at the moment from aches and pains and tiredness are due to this energetic awakening. Take responsible action as you feel necessary, such as tending to your... Okay, well, you get the point. You get the point. There's change, all right? Mental, physical, and spiritual change within him, okay? Try to get out of that energy of where, all right, drop into your heart, feminine. 68, let's see. Drop into your heart. There is a place of light within that no darkness can touch. It cannot be shamed. It cannot ever be made impure. It is never lost or darkened or unavailable to us, though we may forget sometimes sitting in a dark room and not realizing that we can stand up and walk into the light because it is so close to us on just the other side of the doorway of your heart. Whatever may arise, great joy, great sorrow, drop into your heart and offer it to the divine gently, blowing your forehead to your hands in prayer. Bowing your forehead to your hands in prayer. Connect mind to heart. Let yourself have some peace. It wants you to know. This oracle brings you an offering. The divine would like you to offer whatever is bringing your heart trouble or, of course, joy. The divine would like to receive this from you as a gift that it may return to you some special blessing. Place your hands at your heart and in general reflection, perhaps you may choose to offer your heart burden or light now. Either will be joyfully received by a divine and you shall be graced with a gift in return. Okay? Just follow your heart. Follow your heart. Follow your heart because you know that this is your emperor. Okay? And angel of Jupiter, awaken. That's for the overall. Beloved, within you there is magnificence, greatness, and the ability to live bolder, larger, and more exuberant than you ever may have imagined. Awaken that keen spirit, hungry for adventure and new experience. The angel of Jupiter, the spirit, cannot be made small, but must be free. Start now. Feel the endlessness of your own heart. What can be done today? Live bigger. A smile. A yes to that offer of adventure. Sharing vulnerability without fear. Taking a step forward into the unknown. Daring to imagine that the divine doesn't just happen to you, but through you and as you. Embrace the courage of your own open heart. Dare to dream, beloved. And the, the, 
the bold divine nature within you is calling you to great things. Now is your time to awaken. The oracle holds a message of guidance for you. You're being given an opportunity that can change your life. Do not hesitate to accept it. If you are acting with more assertiveness, more generosity, more playfulness, more spiritual authority than usual, this is confirmation that this is coming from a genuine place within you. You are experiencing some havoc in your life or sense that things are changing. This oracle comes in affirmation. Yes, there is change. And yes, you are growing what once was. So you will be prepared to receive that which is more suitable for your next stage of growth. Awaken into your arms. I wait to stop time, savoring each moment for an eternity. Like in an angel, you light the room. Your love giving life to the love I've held within. Unbridled and free, our dream unfolds and we are forever changed. Okay? He's changed feminine. Give him some time. Be patient, okay? Hang in there. Be at peace. Let it go. Forgive him. Wash the slate clean. Wash that slate clean. Let it go. Stop letting it keep you up at night. Trust in the love of your masculine, okay? And justice will come to all those that are fucking with you. Alright? Karma is not nice when you are messing with the divine connections. Karma is not nice. So all those people trying to get at you, trying to tear you down, trying to make you think this and make you think that and make you feel this way and feel that way and telling you this and telling you that, that's not positive. None of that is positive. Don't believe that. Don't listen to that. Have faith in your masculine because he's doing what he's got to do and he knows what he wants. All right? And Rome was not built in a day. Remember that. Love you. A list of services provided and instructions for making appointments, payments, or donations is provided in the channel description as well as in the description of each video. If you like my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and share. And always remember to enjoy life.